Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at another optimization problem. So let's jump right in. A closed box with a square base is to be built so that its volume is 64 cubic centimeters. If the bottom of the box cost 40 cents per square centimeter, each side costs 25 cents per square centimeter, and the top costs 10 cents per square centimeter, find the dimensions of the least expensive box. All right, so our box here, we're told has a square base. So I'm just gonna call the length and width of the base X. Then we also have a height. I'll call that Y. Then our constraint is that our volume for that box needs to be 64 cubic centimeters. The volume for a box will be length times width times height. So for this particular box, x times x times y, or x squared y, needs to be equal to 64 cubic centimeters. All right, there we've got our constraint. Next we wanna look at what is it that we are trying to optimize? Well, here we are trying to find the least expensive box. That means there is some cost function, which we'll create, and we want to find its minimum. So here, the cost function is going to be based upon the cost of each piece times the area of that piece. So if we break it down by the different prices, First, we have the bottom of the box, which is 40 cents per square centimeter. So 40 cents times the area for the bottom of a, our box here, since it's a square, will be x squared. Plus, next we'll work on the sides. And we're going to remember that there are four sides. Each of those four sides of our box has an area of x times y, and each side costs 25 cents. Since there are four of them, we're also going to multiply that quantity by four. And finally, we've got the top of our box. The top of our box costs 10 cents, and it will also have the same dimensions as the bottom, x by x, or x squared. So there we have our cost function. Let's go ahead and simplify by combining some like terms and cleaning up our coefficients. So we have 0.4x squared plus 0.1x squared, which makes 0.5x squared. Plus, if we do 4 times 0.25, that just gives us 1, so we just have plus 1xy. So cost is what we're going to want to minimize. That means we're going to need to take our derivative, and for that derivative, we really would prefer that this be just in terms of one variable. So it's your choice which variable you want to get rid of, but since I only have 1y, I'd probably rather get rid of that. So coming over here to my constraint, my volume, if I were to solve that for y by dividing over my x squared, I would get that y is equal to 64 over x squared. So replacing that into my cost function, I have 0.5x squared plus x times 64 over x squared. Simplifying there, I have 0.5x squared plus 64 over x. All right, before we get into finding our critical point, let's think about a reasonable interval to work with here. So we're thinking of our interval in terms of x, since we now have our cost function in terms of x. As we build this box, in order for there to be a box, we cannot have zero as either of our dimensions, but we can get something really close to zero. So our x interval, we can use an open interval that goes down to zero. 
So there's our smallest value of x, something really close to zero, but not actually equaling zero. The other end of that would be when x is at its largest. Well, x would be at its largest whenever y is close to zero. So if we think about our equation for y here, we think about what value of x or what would have to be happening for to x to make y really close to zero. Well, 64 divided by something really large or a quantity going towards infinity would make this really small or close to zero. So we're actually going to be working on the open interval zero to infinity. So when we work on an open interval, we're gonna use the second derivative test to find our absolute minimum. All right, so for the second derivative test, we need to find our critical points of the first derivative that have our derivative equal to zero. So let's start with finding our first derivative. C prime will be two times 0.5 is one X plus, if we think of this as 64 X to the negative one, then we'll have negative 64 X to the negative two. So that would be X minus 64 over X squared. Now we're interested in where this is equal to zero. So solving for x here, we get x equals 64 over x squared, multiplying both sides by x squared gives me x cubed equals 64. And then taking the cube root here, I get x equals four. So our critical point is x equals four. Now with the second derivative test, when we have a critical point of the first derivative that has our derivative equal to zero, we look at the sign of the second derivative to tell whether we have a minimum or a maximum. So I'm going to need my second derivative, c double prime. So my derivative for one x will be one, plus my derivative for negative 64 x to the negative two will be negative 64 times negative two or positive 128 x to the negative three. Or we might think of that as one plus 128 over x cubed. So now we want to evaluate c double prime or our second derivative at our critical point to see, is it a positive value or a negative value? So 128 over four cubed, that will be one plus 128 divided by 64, which is one plus two, which is three. Three is certainly a positive value. So our second derivative tells us that at four, our function is concave up, so we are achieving our minimum. This means that we have found at least the x dimension of the box that has the least cost. So if x is equal to four centimeters, we need to figure out what would y be then? Well, we have here our function of y in terms of x. So that would be 64 divided by four squared, or 64 divided by 16 is four centimeters. So the box with the least cost is actually a cube, a four centimeter by four centimeter by four centimeter box. All right, guys, that does it for this second example video on optimization. To see the next one, keep on watching.